You know what's the most beautiful thing about BSL shaders? These shaders that I'm using that they run in most computers. And I'm going to show you how to install them real quick with this tutorial. So make sure you watch this video until the end to learn how to install BSL shaders in 1.19.3. Let's get started. The first step is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install BSL shaders. Feel free to look through the guide and see the screenshots and stuff. But if you're just following along the tutorial, go ahead and scroll down until you find the download BSL here button and go ahead and click on it. That is going to redirect you to the BSL official website go ahead and click where it says files and that is going to move us to the file section where we could look for the newest BSL version. In this case, we're going to install 1.19.3. But if you're watching this in the future and you want something like 1.20 or 1.19.4 or something like that, you might find it here. Anyways, as for now, we're just going to look for 1.19.3 and we're going to click download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in 5 seconds the download will start automatically for BSL shaders. As you can see the file has finally downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop. It is a zip file and you don't have to extract it or anything so we're going to leave it as it is. Now in order to run shaders we're going to need Optifine. And if you don't have Optifine don't worry because I'm going to show you how to download and install Optifine real quick. Go ahead and click on the third link in the description which of course will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Now keep in mind that you're going to either need Optifine or some other type of shader loader to run BSL. In my case I prefer Optifine because it's the most popular and easier to install option. So go ahead and click on the third link, come to our guide, and scroll down until you see the download Optifine here button. Go ahead and click on it. And that is going to redirect you to the Optifine official download website. As you can see right now, it doesn't have a download option for 1.19.3 because the full 1.19.3 version is not out yet, but it does have some preview versions that we could use because they do support shaders. So when you come over here, there's a chance that you see the download button right up here for 1.19.3. But if you don't, just click on preview versions and click download for the newest one, which in this case is number three. If you are watching this video in the future and you want to download 1.20, feel free to do so. Anyways, once you click on the download button, you'll be moved over here or redirected over here, where in five seconds, you're going to click the skip button that appears right on the top right. Go ahead and click on that button that is going to redirect you over here. And now we're finally going to click download for Optifine to start downloading. Again, it's asking me where I want to save this file, but for you, it's just going to download automatically. Once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop. I have to wait for this little blue circle to go away. But if yours is already gone away, you could go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop. Now, something to keep in mind is that since we're installing Optifine 1.19.3, we're going to need to have an updated Java version. I don't know if you knew this, but in order to run any modern Minecraft, and that includes Optifine, any modern Minecraft above 1.16.5 would require at least to have Java 16, 17, 18, or 19 on your computer, 16 being the lowest, but since 16 is not available, you're going to need at least Java 17 on your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java, the software that lets you run Minecraft Java on your computer. Now, I know it all sounds confusing, but pretty much the way to test this out is to try to install Optifine, and if it doesn't work, or if you don't see this little cop in here, just go ahead and click where it says type here to search and type auto remove programs. But it's going to redirect you to the auto remove programs software. In here, you're going to type Java and search this list, and you're going to check for your Java number. As you can see, I have Java 17. That means that I'm good. But if you have something like Java 7 or Java 8, you're going to have to uninstall it in order to install Optifine as long as you're installing a newer version of all. And keep in mind, this is for those of you that have an outdated Java. If you don't have an outdated Java, you're going to skip this part of the video. In order to install the newest Java, just go ahead and get rid of your older version, click on uninstall, and Java should uninstall fairly quick. And then once you uninstall Java, go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description, which of course is our written guide on how to download and install Java. And this way you could update Java without any issues. Again, you can look through the guide and stuff, but if you just want to follow along, just go ahead and click where it says download Java here. That is going to redirect you to the Java website where you're going to scroll down until you find Java 17. Go ahead and click on Java 17 and then select your preferred platform. In this case, it's Windows. And then go ahead and find x64 installer. You're going to click on this little blue line right there, which is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save this file, but for you, it's just going to download straight away. Now, once you find your Java installer, you could go ahead and drop it into the desktop with your other files. You don't have to, as long as you find all your files and you have them somewhere safe. Anyways, once we have the Java updater, we are able to start updating. So in order to install Java 17, you're going to have to double click on it. And after you double click on Java, it's probably going to prompt you with the administrator sign, allow it to run, and then you're going to be presented with this menu. Click next, next, and just wait for Java to install. Now, keep in mind, this is a required step in order for your newer versions of Optifine to work with Minecraft Java. I always get a lot of comments. In the past, I used to get a lot of comments because people wouldn't have their jar files working, their Java files wouldn't open, or the installer files wouldn't open, and that is because they had an outdated Java. But now we updated it, so we should be good. As you can see, Java 17 has installed, and you could go ahead and delete this file. Now we are kind of ready to launch Optifine. 
Go ahead and right click on it and find open with and click Java. So you can see we have Java right there. If for some reason that doesn't come up or this cop doesn't get outdated, that is because after you install Java, your jar files didn't get updated. As you can see, this is our jar file, very important information. And if that was the case for you, which is going to be like 5% of you, just click on the fifth link in the description, which is a guide on how to run a jar fix. It's a little simple three step process that is going to help you fixing these files after you install Java in order to open them. Anyways, I'm going to leave that guide in the description to install Optifine. Once you double click on it, click on install. And that is going to install Optifine. It's actually quite fast. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. Go ahead and click on OK. And now we are ready to add the shaders. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And while the launcher loads, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, you have come to the right place because Apex Hosting has 25% off your first Minecraft server right now. They have 24-7 support for Java and Bedrock Edition. So if you want to play Minecraft with your friends, you could run a server using Apex Hosting. It is a platform that I use myself. And something that I really like is that you could access the server console through your phone. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to leave a link in the description for Apex Hosting for 25% off for you guys. But anyways, once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once your Minecraft launcher has opened and it is still loading, oh my God, either I talk too fast or this takes too long. Anyways, there we go. It has finally loaded. As you can see, Optifine 1.19.3 is automatically selected. That should be the case for most of you who install Optifine properly. But in case it doesn't come up right there for you, just go to installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, you're not going to see any modded versions of Minecraft. That includes Optifine. And as you can see, it's right there. If that doesn't cut it for you, if that doesn't make Optifine appear after clicking on modded, just click on new installation and select Optifine. It should be right here. And then you can name this whatever you want and click create. But for most of you, you're going to see Optifine right here. And before we launch Optifine, we're going to add the shaders. So go ahead and click on this little folder right here, this little folder that appears next to play once you click on installations. And in here, you're going to find a folder named Shader Packs. As you can see, my Shader Packs is right here. It says Shader Packs. But if that folder doesn't come up for you, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine so I could show you guys. If that folder doesn't come up for you like this, you don't see that Shader Packs folder, no worries. You could just right click, click New Folder, and then name it Shader Packs with an S at the end. There we go, shader packs. And now you could open that folder and drag and drop your BSL file into that folder. I'm going to name this BSL file BSL 1.19.3 so I don't get confused in game, but you don't have to rename it. You could just drag and drop it in there. And now go back to the launcher, close the folder and click play on Optifine. And as you can see, Minecraft has finally opened. It does say modded down here. And the way we know that we have Optifine working is if we click in options and we go to video settings, we should see the shaders option right here. And it does say Optifine 2 in here, just in case. But you could click on shaders. And as you can see, we have BSL in there. You could go ahead and select it before you launch your world, or you could activate it once the world is open. As you can see, we're now in the game. We're now inside a world and we're going to press escape. We're going to go to options, video settings, shaders, and then go ahead and select your BSL shaders. Click on it. It's going to take a little while sometimes. Just give it a second, depending on how fast your computer is. Once it loads, click on done, done, and back to the game. And as you can see, we have shaders activated. Let me change to first person view. So you can see we have shaders working in Minecraft. I do hope this video was useful and you were able to add BSL shaders. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.